Here we are in our basic construct GGB with our 12 tools that we need to do compass and straight edge constructions. And we're going to copy a triangle onto a line. So first we need a triangle. So let's get our segment tool. Let's make a triangle A to B, B to C, and C to A. Let's move that off a little bit. We're going to make A, B red. We're going to make B blue. We're going to make C green. There's our triangle that we're going to copy. We're going to copy the three sides. Now we need a line, so we get the line through two point tool. And we make a point here and a point farther out. We need to rename this point P. We will just leave E or you can hide it. We're going to move E a little bit down and P a little bit over. So our triangle should come here. The first part of copy the triangle is to copy this base where A goes to P. So we need this distance so we get our compass tool. We measure the distance of that line segment come down to P. This intersection point here will be that new point. So get our intersection tool and click on the intersection. Point D. Let's make this red immediately, this circle. Double click on it. Properties. We'll make it dotted and red. Now we're going to make a circle with this radius at, with center at D and a circle with this radius with center at P. And the intersection point will give me that third point. So we get our compass tool again, measure off that side, bring it down here to D, then get our compass tool again, measure off this side, and bring it down here to P. So this should be green and this should be blue, double click. This one is blue and dotted, and this one is dotted and green. So we know we're looking for the intersection of the blue and green. There it is. And so now we have our triangle. We simply take our line segment tool, go from P to D, D to F, F to P. And finally, we will rename these points P, R, S, and color code. We're going to rename D, R. We're going to rename F, S. And then we're going to find our segments. H needs to be red, I needs to be blue, and J needs to be green. Let's test our construction. So if we move A, B, and C, these points should move. So let's get our move tool. And we can see that we're always getting a congruent triangle.